This is my second year here at Extra Life United. Uh, it's obviously grown exponentially from last year. It's awesome to see a lot of the same people back that were here the first year. I, I'm, I'm loving this event so far. I, it's been great. The tournaments have been fun. Meeting other people who get involved with Extra Life has been amazing. Honestly, it's been a blast. It's been more than I even expected. This is uh, my first year at Extra Life United, and <laughs> it was uh, it's pretty amazing. Not only that, but it's just great to you know be around a lot of other gamers who all you know are coming together for one common good cause. Thank you very much for hanging out with me this fine, rainy Tuesday afternoon here in Chicago, at least. Uh, I am Aero-84. It is Tuesday, 3 p.m. Eastern, a little off, I guess by a few minutes. I want to get a little hype out there for Extra Life United, a guitar freak, and uh, do a little, do a little bit of... Do a little bit of hype for Extra Life United. If any, anyone hasn't been to Extra Life United, I highly recommend it. It is a great way to meet the Extra Life community all around the U.S., Canada, Puerto Rico. You game for a few days, raise some money for your local children's hospital, and it goes to your account, so it's a great way to up your uh, fundraising for the year. And, uh... Yeah, make lifelong friends. I mean, uh, Hero by Clicking, you're going to be there this year, correct? And I will be there. I know Gomer uh, from the stream team, uh, and I believe quite a few others will be joining us down there. Uh, so yeah, just want to start out the channel with a little hype. So I'm going to be playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So I'm going to load that up real quick. And... Uh, we're going to hop into the game. So how's everyone doing this afternoon? Hope you're all doing well. Enjoying an afternoon either off or at work. Let's see. Star Wars. Let's go. Going to old school Xbox One. By Xbox One, I mean the original Xbox. Because it went Xbox 360 Xbox One. Let's change out the panels. By the way, how's the mic sound? I hope it's uh, all right. I just uh, I've got a desktop microphone going on. Hey, hangman, huh? hangman's girl. No work today. What? I'm jealous. I know you usually work on Tuesdays. Love to do that, but I don't have enough money for one. I don't think my parents would drive me there. <laughs> Mike sounds good to me. All right, awesome. Uh, hopefully there's not, I had a bit of a test the other day. I hope there's not much of a sound delay. So you're gonna have to let me know how things are going while I tweak this out. But uh, Guitar Freak, I hope maybe one year you can join us down there. I know me and Hangman's Girl and uh, Nomadic were flying down there. 
yesterday, but I work today and tomorrow. I have tonight off, and I work tomorrow and Thursday, but I got Friday off, so I'm, I'm going to enjoy that. Alright. Let's continue on our path to becoming a Jedi, because I want to get off this planet. <laughs> Check out our quests. Search for Bastila, Karth, purchasing a droid. They've already left. Matrix bounty. Matrix thinks he can escape his bounty by faking his death. Bring him a permacrit detonator. He plants. Do I have it? Oh yeah, yeah, totally. I get you want to use up that sick time. Blow it! If you brought that rat ghoul serum to Zach, she would have made it. Guitar freak, I hear you. Um, you had to go do the. You know this year, uh, Hangman's Girl's been a great help with uh, getting that together and. We've got a good group going down, so yeah. Um, the community is a great way to also look into maybe like sharing a room or finding flights cheap or people riding down. Actually, a buddy of mine drove from Wisconsin from the Racine Kenosha area and uh, he just drove down. And I don't know if he's driving this year. seen you in my shop before allow me to time. introduce myself my name is Kevla Yurt. welcome to the equipment inventory you looking to buy some supplies my Here's shop's it. the largest that, one in all that could be of a good Terrace. reason why best selection on the planet whatever you need i've got well mostly mostly what do you mean by that the sith confiscated all my heavy mm. weapons and they impounded Coffee's all my shit and good right products. now but i've still got a real nice selection if you're interested hey you know what I, to be fair, I, I, until I started working like full time and got sick days, I rarely ever requested off because I needed to make all the money I could get. So I know what it's like to not take a sick day. It usually happens to me at the end of the year. <laughs> it's true. Uh, she will usually take like a month off. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are final. So I am trying to find basically a detonator. Fifty? Okay. Yeah, that's no problem. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Like I had a ta I took a week off. Uh, before Christmas because I had to use my sick days or they expired. Alright, so I need to find those apartments again. Clinic. Is it Lower City or? I can't remember now. Have I not been down here? No, I had to have been. I don't know why I'm pay time off on my birthday, but day off instead. Yeah, paid time off. Uh, I didn't start getting until I was working full time, and that was like part of uh, 
uh, being a full timer is we got paid time off. No got it. I can't remember what I need to do or where I gotta turn this quest in. It's been so long. Hideout. What? Oh, it's my hideout. That's my Wookiee. Zalbar. I get goosebumps every time I listen to this music. Right now. Oof, chills. Recommended. Really? The Wookiee is. Alright. Oh. Uh. Oh, he scales with. <laughs> He's so adorable. Sure. Alright, let's see what we can give him as far as inventory. Uh, he can't wear armor. He can wear that. Rufiel? Rufiel? Rufi! Oh! Sorry, I love Hook. It's such a great movie. Also, did not know that Carrie Fisher um, helped uh, script, uh, script doctor uh, um, Hook. Like, like I I, there was so much I didn't know about her until after she passed, which made me sad. Let's see. Blaster pistol. Heavy blaster. Is it two hand? Uh, ion blaster. Disruptor pistol. Alright, let's go with the Alright, he 
guess he's getting that. It's a really long tourney. <laughs> to withdraw the price on I guess I have no choice but Alright. Well then let's see. This is the original Kotor, yes it is. Uh I find I I was having issues when I tried streaming this before. And now that I have figured out my control issue, when I tried playing this game before, um, my character would just stop moving altogether and I couldn't control him. And I, f I searched forums and threads and eventually I found a simple fix which was just a video settings and it runs so much better. Um, like, I don't know if the game ever looked as good on the Xbox, but I'm happy to be playing this. I thought you meant you were playing the new MMO. I thought about that, but uh, no, I'm, I'm, I've been enjoying playing through the story missions. Um, to the apartments, lower city, upper city. All right, it's lower city, I bet. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, we, we, that one's been nicknamed Swator. But, uh, no. Uh, this is the... I think this came out in 2000... Darn. Early 2000s? My cousin owned this. Uh, like, I... Yes, oh, what's in let's see what's up. Uh, I thought I said I don't want... Okay. <laughs> Not particularly. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respect the most. Saul. Better call Saul. You don't. I thought everyone did. But Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him, and he got angry, and he left. I never saw him again. Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at the worst, I just I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking so up... So it's really weird in the Old Republic how the Sith are like the Empire. Ships. I knew right away Whereas my understanding of the Sith them. were always... Could have stopped you know, it all. Or the opposite of the Jedi. Excuse me. So you feel so sorry for yourself. So you blame yourself for trusting your friend. I blame Saul, not myself. I was I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. Uh oh, he'll regret it. It's a way to the dark side, buddy. Hey, buddy. That's how you go to the dark side, sir. Uh, well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Okay, Karth. Are you on? Just in case, let's. Alright, 
crap. Where am I? <laughs> no problem. Didn't work. Uh... This elevator is off. It's obvious from the way you're trapped. Well, why didn't oh. you say so? Hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Okay, I guess you can go down to the lower city. Just be careful down there. Those swoop gangs will take a shot at anybody. Even our Sith patrols have come under fire. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I was afraid I couldn't go back down. Uh, that could have been bad. Um, there are lower... This guy isn't like an evil bad person who rises up to power. So is anyone playing any uh, fun games lately? Rufio, what do you got for uh, stream tonight, Rufio? Yeah. Alright. Leveled up. Well, not really, but... Oh, uh, Rufio, I was just asking what you were planning on playing uh, last night. <laughs> hey, man, yeah, y yes, uh, it's actually if on my YouTube channel, you can actually see uh, me and Hangman's Girl stream of Tomb Raider. And that was pretty much your first, like, big action kind of game, right? And died repeatedly. Is that a, that's a cantina, right? Have I not been down here? Go away. So he's caught. Oh, that's true. You see me play with. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh, nice. Yeah, I still haven't played uh, Minecraft myself either. Perfect Dark's hard to go back to these days. Oh, 
Kuma Baska Dwara Chichopa Muska. He's got a soggy Kuba Bona and a Taju. Hunde Pudo Ranano Prata Doko Shirkasha. Jung a pique. Three. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that, as long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. So I don't know where Devic is. Okay, I don't know about Devic's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. <laughs> Thanks, job. I mean, it's so if anyone knows Star Wars history is well, I'm slightly familiar. Are all of Jabba's race the hut, or is the hut a title? Hut is a species. So all huts are the hut. Like Pizza the Hut. <laughs> uh space balls. Otherwise, pizza's gonna take out for you. Okay, so he is a hut. Right. Or I thought like hut was also a family name. Uh, in other news, Pizza the Hut was found after he had eaten himself after being trapped in his limo. Oh, I love the, that movie. Waitress in the cantina here until she had a fight with Holden. She cut him with a fiber blade. She killed him. That was a mistake. How I get the. Where's 
the dual ring. It's not in this one, is it? Pizza the Hut. Uh, Pizza the Hut. Are you not familiar with Spaceballs? Oh, man. It is a great Mel Brooks movies of the 80s, as it is a parody of Star Wars and Aliens and so many great things. May the Schwartz be with you. <laughs> merchandising, merchandising. We got Spaceballs the cereal. Spaceballs, what, the toilet paper. Uh, space balls a threat flamethrower. Hmm. Yogurt. I hate yogurt, even with strawberries. Okay, apparently I have not been down this way, or. easy. Only one person would have the nerve to s to give me the raspberry. Sir, uh, what's up with this uh, radar? Why is it making all these weird noises? Sir, that is Mr. Coffee. I know that. Everybody knows that. Everyone knows I like to have coffee. Well, I would watch radar. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I could probably quote quite a bit of that movie. Some of it is not suitable for this channel, though. Um, if you haven't seen it, and you are over the age of 13, I would recommend it. Um, it might be a little dated. Uh, some references are a little, a little bit older. Um, but it is such a good comedy. Uh, that was probably my first Mel Brooks movie. Um, uh, it was my favorite, and then I got introduced to Young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein is also a great, great Mel Brooks movie, and highly, highly recommended. Hi. Where is she at? Cell phone. She's either in these apartments or she's in the lower city. By the way, little no well, well known trivia. Trivia, uh, the song Walk This Way by Aerosmith was inspired by a scene from Young Frankenstein where Marty Feldman uh, meets Frankenstein. I'm sorry, Frankenstein. Um, Marty Feldman, Igor. Is it Igor? Igor or Igor? I forget what he goes by. But um, they meet, and he goes, walk this way. And he walks, because he's got a hump. He walks kind of <laughs> funny with like a side limp. And um, Gene, Gene Wilder just perfectly follows step. Um, is a, oh, man. A play I go. I don't tell you how to pronounce my name, do I? Another great Mel Brooks movie, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind wow. up here. 
This is hitting a weird level for me. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Michigan. Hey, man's girl probably gets that one. <laughs> Her knows who I'm talking about. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office, and I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? Yeah. I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Shh. Now I, I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You saved my life. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away. So is there anyone in chat who hasn't heard of uh, Extra Life before? Just get an idea of who's watching today and uh, you know, uh, things I should talk about if you're not sure or familiar. Is what we are here for with the Extra Life stream team. Bug me, I can't remember. R2. Uh, I don't think I took anything out of there. Streamer. Oh. Line. <laughs> Uh, I am Arrow Dash 84, uh, Arrows and Smith, uh, Dash as in spelling out the word Dash, and then numbers 84. I don't know. Guys, does anyone know if uh, non. Hangman's girl. I, I think it's uh the commands only work for uh mods. But we may be looking for mods. Does anyone uh Arcarist or uh hero by clicking if there's any info on applying to be a mod? Try the upper city?
Thank you very much for uh, posting my info there. So, um, well, maybe I'll. T it's been a while since I talked about myself and my streaming. So, I am Dave. I'm from Chicago. I'm actually the guild president uh, for the area. Actually, Hangman's Girl is our vice president and a longtime friend. And, uh,. I've been doing this, um, I've been doing Extra Life for, this is my seventh year. Same application, I believe, one year. So yeah, if anyone's interested in, uh, applying to be a s mod, we could always use more help in the chat. But, uh, so yeah, it's my seventh year. I started doing this back in 2011. And it was, I started doing this after I heard about it on one podcast called The Totally Rad Show, and then uh, another one, Rebel FM. I think they had, Doc was actually on an episode, and they did a tour of a hospital. Uh, so once I had, like, time to actually participate, I signed up raised about that's oh, gonna drive me nuts I don't know where to go uh, I signed up and started raising for Chicago Children's Memorial Hospital uh, oddly enough I found out after signing up that my mom had actually been in a, that hospital for a few months after she was born um, can't remember what she had as far as um, it was a very uncommon um, condition. Collectosemia, I think, is what it was. Um, so she had spent a few months after being born there, and. Uh, I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Yeah, no, so after I found out she'd been the there, uh, it became a little more personal. And I uh, signed up, raised over $200 that year, and I've been doing it ever since. Currently, I raise money for uh, Ann and Robert Lurie Children's Hospital here in Chicago, which is where the Children's Memorial moved to. Much nicer, newer facility. Yeah, that's a little bit about my history. Um, and I had a personal high fundraising, almost $2,400 last year. Uh, thank you to a lot of my friends, family, uh, her much, much gracious donations through my stream. And, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's been a great community to get to know everyone. Uh, and getting my friends involved, especially. Uh, Twitch. This is I'm ready for it to <laughs> Do it. Ladies and gentlemen, drop you've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The mysterious stranger. Oddly enough, it's a little bit of uh 
From what I know about this game. Jurian. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why that made me giggle. No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this. Surely you understand what I'm. Just in case this doesn't go well. Leave me alone. I'm not giving out any auto print to my fans today. So you're the one doing Zax's dirty work. Well, I've got some bad news for you, little bounty hunter. There's no way you're bringing... This Gandina is wired with a top-level security grid. You pull a weapon on me and the... Why would I ever want to leave here? I've got food and drinks, a place to stay, and everybody treats me with the respect I've earned for my dueling career. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. I kind of missed the fight game. My hand is itching for the feet. If you can prove yourself in the ring by beating all these other so-called duelists, I'll agree to face you in a death match. You win, you get to collect the bounty for killing me. Good luck. You sure you want to get involved in this? Seems a bit pointless. No, that's it. Go do this. We're gonna throw down. I know what I'm doing. I'm ready for a tool. Let's go. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in Canvas Corner. One of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Finger. Also, I wish the prequels were as good as this game a was. A newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history. No. Yeah. 
right. Getting back some of our money. Alright. I'm going to uh, put this on a little break. Uh, as it is about five, six minutes to, uh, well, it's three o'clock here in Chicago. Um, and I'm going to play a little uh, video about. Actually, how Extra Life started. Um, this is about Tori's story and how Doc uh, became involved and started up Extra Life. Um, so, thank you very much for hanging out with me this afternoon. I'm just going to step away for a few minutes, get a refill of coffee. But uh, I hope this uh, story kind of helps explain uh, how Extra Life started and kind of the reasons why. We do what we do. So, uh, thank you very much for hanging out with me this afternoon. And I will be back momentarily. She was the, the flyer. She's the one that they would, you know, get and throw into the air. She was this cute, petite, little, tiny little girl with the, just a head full of long, blonde hair. She wasn't afraid of heights. In fact, she wasn't really afraid of anything. We had noticed she had just gotten weak. I said, what's the matter with you? I said, you're a tumbler. You can... <laughs> tumble and do backflips. It progressed from that to uh, she fainted a couple times. So I took her into the doctor the next day and they immediately sent us to Texas Children's Hospital. She was just, from the moment I met her, she was about 11 years old, she just had a sort of magical presence about her and nothing would keep that girl down. Victoria was diagnosed at the age of 11 and a half with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. In today's world, we cure, cure, go away forever, about 80% of children. In 1965, we cured 5% of children. So the improvement is unbelievable. And Victoria actually had a particular subtype of ALL that the cure rate should have even been better than that. Victoria's treatment was to take two and a half years. And at the end of two and a half years of chemo, Victoria was to be finished with her treatment. Okay. Now I'm going to hand this over to Dr. Fritzbach and see what she has to say. Well, what's your, what's your name again? Uh, my name is um, Bunny McBunkbunk. Well, Bunny McBunkbunk, today our breaking story is about a little dog named Arfu. First time I met Victoria, we were doing a radiothon at a radio station in Houston, Texas. She was very full of energy and was already considered a long-term survivor of leukemia end of two and a half years when Victoria's treatment was over they performed another spinal tap and a bone marrow test. Joellen called me uh, and she had just the worst news ever and that is that Victoria's cancer had returned. Victoria at that time decided she was going to fight and entered the hospital for what would turn out to be an extremely long stay. And he asked her at that time, he said, Victoria, do you like to play video games? She said, I love to play video games. So I put the word out to a website that I work with called Sarcastic Gamer, and the online community responded in droves. What I expected to be a couple of games that might come from here and there instead turned out to be things coming from all over the world. So much so that it became sort of overwhelming. Tori had to end up giving it away to other kids who were also stuck in the hospital and she made it through and nine months later 
she relapsed again. So this was three times she was told that she had cancer. She couldn't be around any other people that could have any infections. You know, she, when she was out, she had to wear her mask. During this time, Victoria contracted a fungal infection, which is from a uh, very low immune system. And she had little to no immune system left. And I asked her what she wanted for Christmas. Uh, and she said, I'd really just like to get out of this hospital and go see Christmas lights. Christmas lights are something my family and I go see together all the time and I can't even leave to go see Christmas lights. And after about 10 minutes, we rolled back upstairs to her room and we had our picture made in front of a little Christmas tree. And I said goodbye. Uh, and that picture is uh, one of my most prized possessions because uh, it was taken just moments before I saw my friend for the last time. And Victoria passed away before I could get back to see her. Victoria passed away on January 21st, 2008, after a four-year battle with leukemia, failed bone marrow transplants, and fungal infections. It was as a result of Tori's death, sitting at her funeral, that I made up my mind that I needed to be doing this, not just a couple days a year with a radiothon, but I needed to be doing this with my life. Doc wanted to do something special for Victoria in memory of Victoria. And he came up with a fundraiser called Extra Life. And this fundraiser would be for the gaming community. It just occurred to me that gamers should be able to do the things they love to, uh, to help sick and injured kids as well. And so Extra Life was born. 1,200 gamers showed up on October 15, 2008. With this year's Extra Life Gaming Marathon, we're helping save kids' lives. You don't even have to be a crime-fighting superhero. Each and every year afterwards, it continued to grow. Gamers responded by being able to uh, game for their local hospitals. We've grown since 2010 from a small group of over 4,000 gamers to a massive movement comprised of over 50,000 gamers who helped raise over $6.1 million in 2014 alone. Video games are like the number one form of entertainment on planet Earth, have been now for quite a while. Anyone could be involved in Extra Life. Gamers aren't that pale kid in mom and dad's basement. They're mom and dads, they're aunts and uncles. A young child, to an older adult, to a grandparent. You can take all that fun of playing games for 24 hours and reach out to your friends and bring them to your environment. Or if you want to play a board game, a card game. The funds that Extra Lifers raise can go to a variety of purposes in the local area at the local hospital. So maybe your extra $20 or your extra $50 goes to curing 87% of children with leukemia. It might buy an isolate for a baby that is born the size of a cell phone and has to fight for its life. I can guarantee you that with that money it goes directly back to these children. To keep this from happening, again, to someone else's child. Getting involved with Extra Life is really simple. You just have to go to the website at extra-life.org, put in a few details in there, join a team if you'd like to, or create one. After that, it's as simple as fundraising with your friends and family. Let them know why you are doing this. They should know that the money you raise is going to stay local in your community. We never will truly lose Victoria because she will live for all of us through this. It started with a little girl in Orange, Texas. And I think that's all we have to say for today. All we have to say today, so... So we'll see, see you, you tomorrow, tomorrow at on News at... Whatever time it is. At Victoria's house. Bye. Bye. All right, so thank you very much for... Uh, Hanging out and uh, hearing about Tori's story and um, how Extra Life started. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a very inspiring story as to, you know, we, we may know someone who's been affected by a children's hospital, um, whether they stayed there. Uh, some people actually 
continue to go to children's hospitals well into their teens and such uh, for treatments. And, um, you know, every dollar that we raise goes directly to the hospital of our choice. So there are hospitals all around the country, U.S., Canada, Puerto Rico. Um, so it's a great way to give back, uh, even locally. Or um, I know some people that live, say, in California, but raise for a hospital back in their hometown. I think uh, I know someone who raises money for Ohio but live in California. So... It's a great way to give back, great way to use our hobby for a good cause. So thank you very much for hanging out with me this afternoon. I'm going to continue my Star Wars run through. And uh, yeah, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. So I've received my handbag of holding. Hey, nice. So many pockets. Awesome. Let's have a big hand for Mo. But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you a mysterious stranger. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Far, far away. There are still Spurs. Do you dare take a shot at a champion himself? Alright. Like, so, people who like to game? read sci fi, is it weird when it's like something that takes place in another universe, galaxy? Or it's not quite Earth, but they use like Earth terms and items? Do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic, and he's the best damn uh, Jewish Twitch and Twitch. Which his opponent plans to take the champion down night after night, battle after battle. We've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. Dice rolls, dice rolls, dice rolls. D20. Save. 
pretty much beaten everyone else. I've been watching you, but I only fight in death matches. Finally, fresh. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. So I guess I will come back. What if I just never show back up? Uh, dual ring. See what I can buy. Sided short sword, blaster, Sith sniper rifle. I got more cash, so that's good. Uh, let's see what I can give. Not chewy, chewy. Oh. Don't know why that was an option before. Yes. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, God. Was uh, she watching or? Take her on. Yanator. She said, Oh, she said she was. Awesome. Spike. Ooh, they're not 
sheep. Done. Was on Facebook. Oh, I don't know if she has a Twitch account. Oh, that would explain a lot. Gotcha. Alright, so let's get a free heal. Um, for Tyokto. Even of course I sell them. It will just healed. And then let's head out. Let's head back into the sewers. Or lower city, I guess. among us. The enemy is here. All right. Had you a punk tongue a box? Tongue of Wunshan on King Don Koyami. Bonana Kachu. Kicha Badwan. Mucha Shakapaga. Ye ki kon no ba muladra. Rundi. Maybe it's Davik. A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by one. So there's apartments there. And back. There's more apartments. Ah. So, the mystery. Don't worry, guys. I'm on this. I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone, but I guess you're just too stupid. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous. Thank you. 
Message. Hey, Alam, how's life on Terrace? I heard your brother left for tattooing to become a miner. Did he at least leave Hyperdrive behind to keep you company? Hyperdrive is a pet, but you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you, because you might need it. Terrace isn't like Alderaan, it can be dangerous there. Step away from those swoop gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. Okay. I remember this being no problem. Didn't work. Uh maybe what? On it. Damn. Chewy? Not chewy? Okay. Hyperdrive is a pet. My uncle. Alderan. Ah! I think the last stream I did, I couldn't figure this out. Sweet. All right. Plus two, will plus two. Military suit, public mod armor, I feel like I fail at D and D because I can't remember what will saves are. Will Wheaton saves. What time are we looking at here? 
15 minutes. Let's talk to the man in charge. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker Spy. Volker Spy. Uh. You have returned. You have the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gavin, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. 
We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine the into the race. with me. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. How's <laughs> <laughs> my crash test dummy? During the race. I can't ask one of my own riders to take the risk. They'll be running unmodified swoops in the race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If you can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. <laughs> Hedging his bets. Okay. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine. So you won't be able to practice your riding, but I've got good instincts, and you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax, and in the morning we'll take you to the swoop track. All right. The problem is, like, last time I played this, I was like, I've clicked the mouse to accelerate and shift gears using mouth. Racing. Top time. Yes!
All right, let's do this. If I gotta top that though, I'm not gonna be happy. <laughs> Actually, easier than I expected. People, hear me! Before I present the so called champion of the Vex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! <gasps> what? You're a darn liar. Prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. Jawara Bota, are you at the Hunga Chakanki Dora? Kachiku Ita Hodonga. Topa da Bungwalia Gando, Dona no Chuchu. Musha Papa, Bola Wana Chitne. Bamuli Slaymo, Bola Wanga, Kunbez Murira Rabes. You fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself. Nobody Whoa. can stop Whoa, me. Buddy. I might have something to say about that, Rajik. <coughs> Cheap. Possible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you possibly summon the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of the Jedi's mind, Rajik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Sneak attack. Soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? It's a long story. Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? <laughs> Maybe. Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. Mm. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. 
In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Valkyrs would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Karl the Nazi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karl is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Bastila, you're alive! Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? Well... I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. So, I know so you're sounds new like at this battle, but a leader we'll doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I'm a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever would. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge, but we all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there, we just have to find it. <laughs> well said, Karth. <laughs> the truth is out there. The better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. I am one with the Force. The Force is with me. I am one with the Force. The Force is with me. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my own intense memories. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace.
That's right. Runda <laughs> Who? Uh, what can I do? Let's level you up. Level up, attributes. Spot objects or enemies hidden by stealth. Powers. Speed. It's power heal. Uh, his power allows a Jedi to move very swiftly, pressing his or her body to its physical limits. save getting closer um, all right I'm gonna play a short video and uh, sign off here in just a few moments so thank you very much for hanging out with me um, of course you can sign up for extra life at extra-life.org um, you can sign up, raise money for local children's hospitals in your area. It's a good way to give back to the community well, using your hobbies, uh, you know, board games, video games, card games, whatever you want to play. Play Euchre for 24 hours, play Hearts, you know, play Dominion, anything you want. Um, 
basically anything counts and all the money raised goes towards a good cause and uh, I'm gonna play a little promo video that was uh, from last year it's a short little video and then uh, signing off you can follow me at uh, twitch.tv slash arrow-84 let's see if I can update it. there we go um, I rate, I'm here in Chicago. I stream when I can, part time as a hobby, and uh, totally enjoy it. So, um, if you have requests, if you want me to keep playing Star Wars, I'd be happy to. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much for hanging out with me. We are going to be switching over. Uh, I was going to pull up the schedule here. We've got Owning Toaster after me. After him, we got Seward, Rufio, and the Scarberry. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat. And uh, thank you very much again. I am Arrow-84. Everyone have a wonderful Tuesday. You are a warrior, a leader, a builder. You may not always win, but you never remain defeated. You are a gamer. On November 7th, join your fellow gamers for Extra Life 2015 to raise money for local children's Miracle Network hospitals. Go to extra-life.org to register and start helping sick kids today. Play games, heal kids.